reason? For what reason? For what reason did you take my wig off? Because what what made you think that that was the good thing to do? No, what made you think that that was the good thing to do? Please, please. For what? For what? Why did you do that? What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Is that funny? You don't even know me. No. Are you, do you hit women or something? Why did you take my wig off and keep walking? There's no reason. For what, sir? Why? Why? Just say it. Why did you take my wig off and just walk away? Please. Because what? Why? Please, 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 please. Nah, have a nice one. Have a nice day. You, you're nice as him. He needs somebody to be his ass. A New York City woman is speaking out after a completely random stranger snatched her wig while walking down the street. Now, the alleged assaulter has received some karma. But first, let's hear from the woman, Lizzie Ashley, as to why this event was so painful. I just got home. I'm safe. But look at this. If you pull the wig, it looks like it's going to come off, right? And then it gets stuck because it has combs in it. So he ended up pulling my hair in order to officially take it off. You have to then yank down and then try your best. It's still not coming off. He dead pulled my whole wig off. Like, So for anyone who is thinking, oh, this is just a drunk guy who thought it would be funny or you know, accidentally grabbed her wig. No, he had to pull and yank to get it off her head. This was an assault. Um, and luckily it didn't take long for us internet sleuths to track down the culprit. Uh, and his job title might surprise you. And keep walking. Hello, Anthony Ulrich of New York City. As a lawyer, I hope I don't have to explain this to you, but what you did is called assault. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't go around pulling wigs off random people in the street. To the victim, I'm sorry this happened to you. And if you plan on pressing charges, this is the person's name. I'll be honest, as someone who has a law degree, uh, it doesn't surprise me that he's a lawyer because lawyers are some of the worst people I've ever met in my life. And it's shocking to me the beliefs people can hold and the things they can do and still become attorneys. But that being said, the, the woman in the video, Ashley, says she's filed a complaint with the New York Police Department. And it appears that the alleged assaulter no longer has a job, according to his law firm's LinkedIn page. They posted, we have been made aware of a video of a non-work related incident involving one of our associates circulating on social media. We take seriously any inappropriate behavior by any employee, whether inside or outside the workplace. This associate is no longer with the firm. Now, Jackson, what are what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I'm usually someone who's sort of reticent to say I'm glad someone got fired for you know a, a video of them, but in this case, I mean, this is just he assaulted her. I think he absolutely deserved to lose his job over that. Well, yeah, I mean, not only that, but it's also embarrassing for the company to, you know, have to be employed with somebody like him. But I mean, you know, even not knowing him, he just kind of strikes me as uh, one of those guys that's gener generally unlikable um, and is kind of known for it. Like he's just one of those guys who comes around and he's just like, he'll just do something that'll trigger people. And he's just like, what? What? I don't know. And then like somebody punches him and then he's on the ground, like, whoa, whoa, and he's still on the ground like that. Like, He's just like a big doof, and that's just kind of how his life go has gone, and it'll probably likely continue to go that way. Um, you know, so this is just kind of a cause and effect type of thing. I mean, if, if he didn't do that, then he wouldn't have gotten fired. Um, he's an adult, so there's really no reason to have any sympathy for him at all. But he just kind of strikes me as a as that type of a guy who's just he can't help but not be liked because that's the only way he gets attention. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is people hate him. People only pay attention to me if they're mad at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, mm -hmm. he definitely looks like someone who doesn't expect to see consequences for his actions. So I'm glad to see that in this case, he, he did actually have consequences. He looks like Michael Knowles. 
That's who he looks like. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's he who, does. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I was, I was thinking, I was trying to remember what his first name was, but yeah, that's what he looks like. And Michael Knowles kind of seems like the same type of guy. Yeah, like he just like he, he'll come around a group and then he'll slowly notice that he's not like the center of attention, and then he'll go back home and make a podcast about how everybody who isn't exactly like him sucks and should be wiped out. <laughs> <laughs>